Disgusting. Kind of sick. That is what you had to say about the millions of gallons of sewage pumped into New York waterways after rain last night and this morning. Now, this isn't uncommon, nor is it unusual. And that's all the reason more why we need to hold people in power accountable. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. We brought up the issue Monday after the weekend rains. And in the past 24 hours, it was even worse. Our Michael Wooten is taking a closer look at the problem and how another city is trying to fix it. Overnight storms didn't just flood these streets in Dunkirk. Because some areas got nearly four inches of rain, the city's combined sewer system got overwhelmed. That forced more than nine million gallons of overflow to go into Lake Erie. The city says the discharge is sent into a submerged channel that quickly sends it out into the lake and away from areas like Wright Park. Dunkirk is also unique in that it partially treats the waste with disinfectant, something that doesn't happen with all of our sewer systems. These overflows happen during heavy rain because the sewer systems collect rainwater runoff plus sewage, and they can only hold so much. Niagara Falls often has the largest overflows. Overnight, its system dumped more than 17 million gallons of untreated waste into the lower Niagara River, all of it legal because these systems are working as designed, and replacing them would be expensive and take many years. But that type of project is underway in Indianapolis. We're going 250 feet below ground to the Deep Rock Tunnel System. I monitor temperatures and pressures. It's still under construction and will cost $2 billion. But when finished, the series of concrete line tunnels will help Indy remove 97% of the sewage that currently enters its waterways. The idea is simple. During storms, the tunnels will hold the city's sewage giving time to drain the rainwater so that you don't get the overflows. And over the course of the year, we'll collect close to 6 billion gallons total. It's been causing construction headaches throughout Indianapolis, and that will continue until 2025, but most agree it's worth it. We understand and, and, and we share in the pain, but it is a project that's necessary and will have huge environmental benefits when we're done. Now we wanted to focus in on what Indy is doing because it and other cities are being very proactive here, but we have not seen anything like that here locally, certainly on that scale. There are some small projects to update lo local sewer systems, but really nothing to fundamentally change the fact that we are dumping tons of sewage into our waterways. So think about it this way. Just in Niagara Falls, we mentioned 17 million gallons of discharge went into the river there, right? Well, we did the math. That's equivalent to how much water would be in 26 Olympic size swimming pools. And Scott Mary Alice, that is one municipality. Remember overnight, we also had overflows in the falls, plus Dunkirk, Buffalo, Cheektowaga, Kenmore, the list goes on and on. You add it all up and it kind of puts this in perspective. Yeah, and over four inches of rain in that short period of time is really, really dangerous. It, it was a lot of rain and that does kind of explain why Dunkirk was so bad last night. But it seems lately like every time we get rain, we're dealing with these big overcharges. Yeah, that's right. All right, Michael Wooten tonight. Michael, thank you. Appreciate it.